back to my channel. Um, I just want to say I hope everybody had a wonderful Mother's Day. I know I certainly did. Um, it was definitely a very special day for me. Um, today's video is going to be a Ipsy unbagging. Uh, if I do sound kind of scratchy, I have actually been under the weather since last Tuesday, so I'm trying to do my best. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. This is the bag this month. I think the bag is so freaking cute. Um, <clears throat> I like the idea uh, of travel and all the little stamps from everywhere. I think that is adorable. I even like the touch of the tag. Can you see there? It has a, like a little airplane on the tag. Super cute. Um, and it does say Ipsy on the bag. Now, starting off, I did receive two masks. Of course, these were too big to put in the bag, so they have to come on the outside. Um, this is the Fresh Garden Acai Berry Calming Mask. Um, and this one is the Fresh Garden Pomegranate Firming Mask. So those are the two masks that I received. I do love facial masks, so I'm super excited to try this out. One of the things I do love about Ipsy is, you know, if you do receive a mask, you receive a pair of masks. I've never, I don't think I've ever received just one. I've always gotten a pair. So I really appreciate that about Ipsy. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the bag. And... Of course we have the card um, obviously the theme of this month is go there so it's all about traveling <clears throat> and let's see what is this okay so the first thing I am bringing out is the Lord and Barry crayon lipstick I do have a lot of lipsticks um, <clears throat> I'm not really a crayon type of person as far as lipstick goes it is a really pretty shade um, but this is just actually not my cup of tea. So I'm going to save this. I'm not going to swatch it. I am going to save it for a giveaway. Alright. Let's see what else we got here. Yay! Oh, I love it when I get brushes. Just makes the bag like a thousand times better. So this is a eyeshadow brush. It is the N15 from Miss Glam. M Miss Glam I, I'm not really sure but this is the brush right here it is so pretty I love it so much um, it is kind of more lightweight than I am used to but a shader brush doesn't really have to be heavy for me to use it I do like my blender brushes a little bit more on the heavy side but eyeshadow brushes um, are good so I'm super 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 excited for that one um, I would have to say that's one of the reasons that I do enjoy Ipsy so much is because I know that I have a chance at getting a brand new brush. I'm like addicted to brushes. Eyeshadow palettes and brushes. So this is Style Sepia Touch and Soul Fresh Garden Gel Liner with Diamond. Okay, so can you see that? That is that right there. So it's a gel liner. Ooh, feels really nice. I can't tell. I think it's a brown color. So, but it does feel really nice. It's really creamy. <laughs> that one is definitely not the best swatch ever. I was just, uh, let's see if I can do better. There we go. <laughs> so, it does have a nice consistency. You're just going to have to ignore that swatch because I don't know what the heck I was doing. All right, and we do have one more item in the bag. This is from Sugar, a Arch Arrival Brow Definer. So let me go ahead and take this off. Maybe. Okay, this is going to take me a minute, so I'll be right back. All right, so this is the brow definer right here from Sugar Cosmetics. Um, this is in the shade number two, Taupe Tom, which I don't know if this is going to be a shade for me because I do typically like to wear a darker eyebrow uh, pencil. I wear like a medium brown in the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I wear like the number five in Benefit Cosmetics. So this, and here's the way it looks. I don't know if you can tell, probably not, but it's kind of got like that, that odd shape tip to it. 
it does feel kind of rough putting it on. Oh no, that's gonna be too light. Ugh. Well, maybe not. No, it's definitely too light and it's got an ashy tone to it. Can you tell? I'm gonna have to give this to my friend because this is definitely not going to be for me. So a little bit disappointing with that. Um, on the other side, because there is another cap to it, um, it does have a wand. As you can see, this is bent a little bit. So we're just gonna kind of bend that back. There we go. So. All right, so let's go over the bag one more time. Um, so the Too Faced mask, I love, definitely fits the profile. Um, the eyeliner, I love, fits the profile. And I did notice that it kind of has like little sparkles of glitter. Um, it says, well, it does say with diamond. Um, you won't be able to see it on camera, but it's really, really pretty. Um, definitely love the brush. Oh my goodness, of course, how do I not? Um, the only thing I have to say is that I'm not too thrilled about the lip pencil. Um, it does fit in with the profile because it is a lipstick and I do have that mark on my profile. So they did follow through with it. I'm just not a lip pencil person. Uh, the brow definer, I probably would have liked if it had been more my color. It just is not. It's too light, kind of a little bit too ashy for me. Um, so I definitely will be passing that on. All in all, I will say that this bag is okay. Um, you know, minus the two products that I can't use that do, that do fit my profile, I still come out with two masks, an excellent brush, and a gel liner. So I'm pretty happy. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. That way you can be notified of any future videos that I may have. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I will have those linked down below as well. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.